almost 63 years so <laughs> oh goodness sakes you know, but that's best. now we're perfect don't you know <laughs> uh, you want to think or you want to talk um uh, i'm i'm gonna do both <laughs> okay well, while you're thinking well you're thinking i'll comment go I think tradition is an extremely important part of any family orientation. And I think that's what's built St. John's too, is they are so full of tradition, fa traditional families that have held together for so long that it can't help but grow. I was baptized in St. John's in 1935 when it was a, a new young congregation and not not a lot of people but they were there and that's so i was baptized there and they said we're building for the future well it's proven itself uh, i was born on a ranch of 40 acres of oranges and we had 12 acres of walnuts down by the river my earliest memory probably was in the third and fourth grade we had a strict teacher Early on, that, that, those were dirt streets, and I used to drive tractors down streets, uh, not uh, rubber tire tractors, but steel, regular Caterpillar tractors, and um, that was just my, my upbringing. And then it, when I was in the eighth grade, we had extra time, we had a student teacher, so we, he's had a, about a half an hour at the end of a day, and he said, you know, Let's just talk about what you guys want to do when you grow up. So we did, and I said, you know, I think it would be fun to be a teacher. I had my first eight years at St. John's in their school, and then the ninth grade I was in Nebraska at Concordia Teachers College. And I took nine through 12 there, and then one through four in college, so I had eight years in Nebraska. And uh, while we were there, they asked us if we wanted what area of the country you interested in or feel you need to go to. And I said, I'm open. I just don't want to be within 100 miles of home. Well, they assigned me to San Diego. 96 miles was close enough to 100. <laughs> anyway, that was the earlier days. To me, a legacy is sort of akin to a footprint. It's um, where you've been and where you're going and what prints you leave. My prayer is if they continue, the footprints continue to go alongside walking with the Lord, that their strength will be um, following Jesus and never stray from that. And then once they have that, their footprints are going to be set in the right direction. I think legacy is really built upon foundations, and those foundations have to, have to be strong enough to, to know what they're holding up. And I think Christian education has a big part of that. There too, I'm so thankful that our children and grandchildren have had the opportunity to um, to go to a Christian school, to not only have their family values, but then they're taught at school as well. One thing that we did that I think that has helped uh, us be connected, our family during COVID is every Sunday at 11 o'clock, we Zoomed and we just touched bases with our granddaughter that's up in San Francisco and her husband and with all of our family here. And, and that's important. We still do that. Yeah, yeah, we're still doing it. It's just a connection point. <laughs> 
Ten years ago, how do, what would somebody say? Well, what do you mean you Zoom? What, what's this Zoom business? Um, as families tend to break apart a little bit, you lose that connecting point. That's half the battle is taking a moment to assess. How can we do it a little better? What can we do to change, to, to make a closer connection with our family members? And you can you start with the family and you spread out from there. I'm just so thankful for my family and I think they know that. I think they know that they are loved and that I am thankful that they um, that they are walking with Jesus. You have to believe in something. As we train, they need to train, as we were trained, and it goes back and back and back. Things change, we change. Christ does not change. I think the Lord built into the words of wisdom in the scriptures that where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I, there am I in the midst of them. You're taught so you can teach. You're taught so you can share. I think we've got to keep that thing way in the front of us, that we work together to share together. And if we don't share, we've lost out part of who we are and why we are.